So this video explains how to use the replace color function and, and explains how it works. So the first thing you want to do is download the replace color file, which is linked from the Sakai page. Save, replace color. And then I'm going to open that function in JES. Replace color. And the way replace color works is it replaces an old color with a new color. And as was explained in the slides, you can't just check for an exact match of the old color. Um, because there are different shades of a given color. So if you try to just match red, for example, or a shade of red exactly, what will happen is it will only match a very few pixels uh, in your picture because they won't be exactly that color. So what you have to do is use a threshold to get um, a color that's close enough to the old color and then replace it with a new color. So we're going to give this a try with the uh, samurai image in your media sources. So go ahead and open that image or create a, a file with that uh, image. So I'm going to do file equal get file and I'm going to scroll down to near the bottom. and get the samurai armor image and then I'm going to make a picture with it and then I'm going to show the picture and what I'd like to be able to do is to replace this uh, orangish red color with, um, with blue, for example. So to do that, what I need to do is use the media tools picture tool. And I'm just going to use the picture object that I created. It's the only one I have available right now. And then what I want to do is I want to click on some of those red pixels to see if I can get the approximate color that I'm looking for. So it looks like um, we have a red value of 236, green of 109, blue of 64. So maybe if we do 240, 110, and 65. Let's poke around and see. Let's try that. 240, 110, and 65. So I'm going to do um, reddish equal make color um, and we'll do, what did we say? 240 What were the other colors? Make the picture tool again. Let's see. 240, 110, and I think we decided 65. 240, 110, and 65. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to replace this color. In my picture, this is the samurai picture, I'm going to replace the reddish color with blue. Blue is a predefined color, so I can just refer to it with blue. And, um, and I need to pass a threshold, so I want to get close enough to the current color. Um, so I'll try um, 80. And that's just going to, oh, I forgot to load my program. Don't forget that up arrow here. So that's just going to loop over all the pixels. And if their distance between the current color of the pixel and the reddish color are 
at least within 80 of the threshold of the of the, the distance between the two is no more than 80 then it's going to change the the color so if i show my picture now i'll see that all of those uh, reddish pixels were replaced with blue. And I did a pretty good job picking a threshold here. If I had chosen a threshold that was too low, it wouldn't replace, um, it would replace fewer of these pixels. If I cho chose one that was too high, then some of these reddish brown tones would have been replaced as well. So that's the way color um, replacement works using, um, using an if statement or a conditional.